starting with his twin Eisenhowers. Incredible error coin, 1973 clad Eisenhower dollar, double struck on a half dollar planchet. Great SPR 66 cameo by NGC. In coin grading cameos, amount of contrast between the relief, meaning raised or recessed design, and the field, meaning background. Cameo is usually seen on a proof coinage, with the relief featuring a frosted finish and the field being mirror like. Not all proof coins have a cameo effect, however. Because it was struck on a half dollar planchet and by default is clad, we don't know if this piece was actually produced during the production run for clad proof Eisenhower dollars or if it might have been struck during the production run for silver Eisenhower dollars. Either way, this is a spectacular error that features side-by-side -side portraits of the late World War II figure and the president, nicely centered on the half-dollar planchet with just enough of the date visible for identification. Sold on August 4th, 2020 for $19,200 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1977D half-dollar at Miss Day 62, struck on a 40% silver planchet, well-known transitional alloy error. The expected weight of silver clad half is 11.50 grams, and the standard weight of copper nickel clad half dollar is 11.34 grams. San Francisco struck silver clad bicentennial halves, and a small number of planchets intended for issue were instead mixed in with clad half dollar planchet and struck at the Denver Mint. This brilliant and satiny example has a nice strike and good eye appeal. A small strike through is on the field near the mouse, and the minor contact is noted west of the ear and the nine in the date. Sold on May 4th, 2022 for $7,800 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to the error penny, 1917 cent with double die verse. Great at Miss Day 66 red and provided with CAC sticker for Excelsior. Vivid mint orange color is as bright and fresh as the day the coin was produced. The fully struck devices are enhanced by frosty mint lusters that extend throughout the fields. Beautiful to look at and technically exceptional. The 1917 FS-101 is one of the most pronounced double die verse varieties in the entire Lincoln Cent series with sharp doubling to the digits in the date and the letters God we trust in motto. Sold in spring 2022 auction held by Stax Powers for $21,600. Here is heavily circulated low mintage issue 1926S Buffalo Nickel at least a 64 plus. The 1926S Buffalo Nickel boasts a serious low mintage of just 970,000 pieces, a small production total for this heavily used commercial denomination. In 1920s, nickel circulated as change-making denomination, but were also useful for small purchases. A boom in a payphone usage during this period in cities like New York created another commercial need for the five-cent coin. Few high-quality examples of any date, let alone the 1926S, were saved by contemporary collectors, creating inherent scarcity of high-grade coins today. This high-end, near-gem 1926S displays attractive satiny mint luster and subtle shades of champagne gold and ice blue toning. Sold on January 4th, 2018 for $11,700. Here is 1968 Washington Quarter struck on a 90% silver planchet, very rare proof coin grade as PR64 by PCGS. The coin is appreciably reflective in the field, complementing sharp motifs. Each side is virtually brilliant. A few minor marks are seen beneath the loop. The white edge of this piece confirming the silver planchet alloy is readily visible in the edge view holder. This wrong planchet coin with irregular weight of 6.3 grams ended up selling for $11,700 on May 6, 2022 at Heritage Auctions. What a lovely toning, isn't it? 1892 Morgan Dollar grade as PR68 by PCGS. It's beautiful ultra gem with both sides best in which the original toning of blended rose, olive gold and powder blue. The toning is iridescent allowing full operation of well mirrored finish particularly in the fields. The devices exhibit more of a softly frosted texture and are fully struck down to the last hail curl over the Liberty's ear and teaser on the eagle's breast. 
This virtual pristine proof Morgan dollar will please even the most discerning collector. Sold for $36,000 at spring 2022 auction of Stax Bowers. A wartime error penny, Denver struck 1943 Lincoln cent with repunched mint mark, so called D over D variety. In the 20th century American numismatics, dramatic die errors are most often the result of unusual pressure on the mint, whether the stress of implementing a new design or lack of personnel. Many famous wartime varieties, including these dramatic repunched mint marks, stem from the latter cause. The present superb gem example displays a dramatic errant mint mark prominently to the southwest of the main one. And aside from the touch of the usual softness at Lincoln hair, the strike is solid. Surfaces are well preserved and suitably lustrous. Sold on February 3, 2011 for 21000 $275 at Heritage Auctions. Another old US coin with outstanding toning, 1937 Walking Liberty of Dollar at PR68 grade, a fantastically toned superb gem proof. This 1937 Walking Liberty of shows Liberty striding into an orange and fire red crescent suggestive of the setting sun, with a remainder of the obverse a pale lavender. The reverse shows burgundy, violet, orange, and jade areas, with some cherry red at the lower rim. Sold on October 16, 2022, for $60,000 at Heritage Auctions. You won't believe, but it's actually a wartime silver penny. 1944 Lincoln Sands struck on 69% silver, 31% copper planchet. During World War II, copper was an important munitions ally while the silver was not. For example, silver was added to the wartime Jefferson nickel ally, while copper and nickel were removed. One can speculate that the present cent was intentionally struck as a part of an effort to replace unsuitable 1943 steel cent alloy, yet reduce the copper content of 1944 cents. In any event, this coin exists in its possibly unique silver-copper alloy. Its luster is nicely struck with unmarked surfaces and light golden brown toning. The reverse has a railroad dream near 9 o'clock. Sold on May 6, 2022 for $19,200 at Heritage Auctions. One of the most valuable low denomination coins struck in 1993 globally. 1993 D Lincoln cent milled with dime reverse, grade at Miste 65 red by PCGS. US coins struck with dies of different denominations are extremely rare, until recent years none were known. Aside from malfeasance of meat workers, the mule denomination error is only possible when the denominations involved are similar in diameter. A cent is 19 mm and a dime is 17.9 mm, a difference of 1.1 mm or approximately 5%. Given the billions of cents struck annually at the federal mint, it was inevitable that an absent-minded worker would pair the cent and the dime dies. Presumably, the mistake was discovered and the struck pieces were destroyed before dispersal with the single exception of present survivor. This lustrous gem shows the characteristics expected of a cent and a dime mill. The dime side has a broad, tall rim, since metal was forced into the color of a dime die by the wider diameter scent die opposite. As a result, the scent side has a soft strike near the rim, since the metal in the vicinity flowed into the dime color. The strike on the devices is normal. The lustrous surfaces are pristine aside from sultry faint gaze above the date. The color is predominantly orange with shades of fire red and olive green occasionally present. Sold on January 7, 2010 for $51,750 at Heritage Auctions. And the last one, this wartime nickel was double diverse, beautifully toned 1943 P. Jefferson nickel. Weighed at Miss Day 67 with full steps. Jefferson's eye is nicely doubled on this well known wartime nickel guidebook variety. The worst legends are also doubled, including the date. According to Cherry Pickers, one of the original top 10 varieties, it's becoming more and more difficult to locate. Lusters and well struck with beautiful honey gold, powder blue and apricot toning. The steps are impeccably defined. 
A powerful loop locates only the faintest surface imperfections. Sold on April 30, 2009 for $11,500 at Heritage Auctions.